UN Security Council could impose in unprecedented sanctions on North Korea as early as next week, according to Seoul's ambassador to the UN. Council members have been hard at work drafting a new resolution against a communist state ever since its fourth nuclear test more than a month ago. Our Kwon Soa has this report. What's already taking longer than the process of drafting previous resolutions on North Korea appears to be in the final stages. In an interview with Seoul-based news channel YTN, South Korea's ambassador to the United Nations Oh Jun said there is a chance a new UN Security Council resolution on North Korea could be adopted as early as next week. Ambassador Oh says he is expecting stronger sanctions than in existing resolutions once the U.S. and China complete their final mediations on the draft. That's been so far the main obstacle to a swift agreement on the matter, but Chinese sources and media outlets suggest that Pyongyang's closest ally has become a more active participant in the UN talks ever since the North's long-range missile test, which came a month after its nuclear test in January. One expert said Beijing probably won't give a green light to all of Washington's proposals, but that there could be some room for negotiation. If the decision on the strong measures suggested by the U.S., such as a secondary boycott or sanctions on trade or exchanges of human resources, is left for related countries to decide on independently, China could uphold its pattern of consideration for its ally and not accept Washington's view 100 percent. Backing up the prospects for a swift adoption of the resolution, an official at Seoul's foreign ministry told reporters after Tuesday's high-level talks between South Korea and China in Seoul, that Beijing saw eye to eye with South Korea on sanctions that would hurt North Korea. The official added that the bilateral talks made up a much larger portion of the meeting in Seoul than the possible deployment of the U.S. missile defense system THAAD in South Korea, to which China objects, and that the Chinese side briefed Seoul in detail on the current progress at the U.N. headquarters. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.